I would like to welcome you back to another one of my videos. I would like to thank you for coming back. If you have previously seen some of my video content already, and if you haven't, I would like to say welcome to Miss Blue ASMR's channel. That's me. I'm so happy that you decided to drop by tonight. So before I start today's video, I would just like to do my channel naming, as I do before every video I make. I just name channels that I enjoy and that I think deserve a little bit of support. channel that I will be naming is Abso ASMR. So if you would like to check that channel out, I invite you to do so through the link down in the description of this video. Go and check out his channel. And if you enjoy it, like, comment, and subscribe. For now, I am going to proceed on to do the rest of my video. And I hope you enjoy it and that it relaxes you. So, today's video is going to be of show and tell of the object I'm going to show you in a, in a second and the other half will be me wearing them. Now that is a big clue towards what the object is and it's a recurring theme on my channel. So let's just uh, dive Right in. This is today's item. So, yes, this is a theme that, um, is not very uncommon on my channel, although I haven't done too many of them. I think it's something that I'm going to bring back now and then, because for one, I really, really, really like shoes, <laughs> and I think that there is an ASMR aspect to seeing someone walking and in and wearing pairs of high heels. So, yeah, the, the heels, the sound of the heels on, on the ground, whether it be, for me, it's um, wooden floorboards, but whether it be also on cement or tiles, I think that they, uh, those are some sounds that can be quite relaxing. I have heard people tell me that um, actually the sound of heels on the floor is quite irritating, but as I tell them, you know, everything is not for everyone, so if the videos that I, do, I put out don't correspond to anyone, I'm not forcing anyone to watch them. I put them out there for the percentage of people that they might interest. So, let's start with the show and tell part of the video. Some of you might recognize these shoes as being very similar 
to the sparkly silver pair that I showed in that video um, I did with the sparkly silver shoes and I just thought that um, these would also be very good because they also have the um, sequins all over so let's just have a little look closer at the shoes they are very pretty and I love the material the satin material that they're made out of and uh, well it's no surprise that the fact that they've got rhinestones all over that's just it's a dead giveaway for me I love this type of shoe and I think that the sound that the rhinestones make is so tingly and relaxing This video will be just me manipulating these shoes just like this and the other half of the video will be a shoe wearing because I usually when I get a pair of shoes I think would be good on camera I usually the way I've done it so far at least is I would make one video showing the shoes and then I would make one video wearing the shoes but I thought it might be a good idea to combine those into one so I think that's what I'm gonna do for this video I'm gonna try it out And I'll see what the result is like and if the result is good maybe I'll proceed to do that that way from now on for my shoe videos I can't lie one of the main reasons why I like doing shoe videos not the only reason but one of the big reasons is really just because I am a huge shoe lover I really really love shoes and I've got a lot of shoes pairs of shoes and I think that there are probably a lot of people out there who equally enjoy shoes the aesthetical value and can actually find them relaxing if used and shown in the right way but I would like to point out that in no way shape or form are my videos fetish um, intended not at all so if that's what you were thinking let me politely tell you that you are wrong that is not what my video shoe videos are intended for and I think shoes like these and the silver sparkly pair are 
perfect for ASMR because of the, the rhinestones. I love the sounds that the rhinestones make. Added some ribbons to to the shoes, and I think it suits the shoes. But you will see in the wearing part of the video, I'm going to put them on and walk. You will not see the ribbons because I will be wearing. And just put this one shoe to one side. I will be wearing these over the shoes because the shoes have a slight um, defect that I would like to hide while wearing them. So I'm going to be wearing these over the shoes just to cover that up. Actually, these have a really cool interior. I'm not too sure what these are called in English. I know the French name for them, but I don't know what you call them in English. They just, you put them over your ankles, over your feet, and wear them, and wear them on top of your shoes. It adds an aesthetical value, and it can hide any little disgraces. That the shoes may have. So, yeah, you won't be seeing the ribbons while I'm wearing them. That one got a little bit twisted. But um, keep in mind that they are there. And what I do is I just tie them around my ankles. I just tie them around my ankles like this. And it looks good.
was not a coincidence that I painted my nails blue although not exactly the same shade as the shoes but it's the only light blue colour I had actually seen many ASMR shoe videos out there so I don't know if it's a thing or not but regardless whether it is a thing or not I do think that there are people out there who enjoy this sort of thing without it being a fetish and so, as I love, I love shoes so much, I just want to combine both. Sometimes, not all the time, obviously. Since the beginning of my channel, I think this is the third or fourth shoe video that I've made, so... That's not too many in comparison to how many other videos I have. I definitely want to do them because I just love shoes <laughs> and I mean really love I mistreat my feet with the shoes that I have sometimes <laughs> but I think a lot of <laughs> girls <laughs> can identify with me of this. I think that there are a lot of women who love owning and wearing really a lot of shoes and pretty shoes, different colours, different shapes, with different little bits that go on the shoes. I think it's a very uh, common thing for women and girls. Give me your opinions on what you think about me assembling both show and tell and shoe wearing in the same video, or if you prefer them separately. Please give me your opinions, tell me what you think. relaxing to watch I don't actually 
actually use these makeup brushes for makeup <laughs> so it doesn't matter if I brush a pair of shoes with them These are brushes that I bought specifically for ASMR use in videos. some sounds with the other end this end on the rhinestones This sound is pretty nice.
just thought it might be cool to make some sounds with both shoes at the same time. A little bit of brushing on each shoe. If you just imagine that these shoes are your feet. And don't worry, I'll stay clear of the underneath so that no one gets their feet tickled unless that's what you like but me personally if you tickle my feet you will get kicked in the head I am not responsible for what happens if someone tickles my feet you think of the brushes on the shoes? Is that something that you enjoy and that relaxes you? I like the way if I can get just the right angle, just there the pink shines through onto the rhinestone It's very visible on the camera, but in real life it looks really pretty. and things like that is really a big part of my life and it really relaxes me but too much of a good thing isn't always good so, right now, I am going to move on to the next part of the video, which will be the shoe wearing. So, 
so I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.